Hello, <laughs> Cliff here. Um, welcome to part two of my Fouts um, electric build. Yeah, uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm just laminating the rudder. Uh, let's angle you down, shall we? The rudder is here. It's only small and I've cut a template by pushing pins through into a bit of 1/8 balsa because this is 1/8 by 3/32nd sorry 1/32nd by 3/32nd laminations free off so I've got this and I'm going to cut some 1/32nd balsa hopefully it's going to be enough to go all the way around and we'll make it up out there, try and cut it square. Had them soak in for five or ten minutes, and I've been bending them backwards and forwards. I don't think they're going to go around there, but we'll just give it a go. I'll have to, it's probably a little bit on the hard side to be honest. I can try and ease it around like this, around the corner. Sort of pre split the bolster, if you like. Go in there. Will it go around that corner? And it will. Yes, go on. Let's just put it in out here. And then go around that corner. Oh, look at that, it's going to stretch. Excellent. Excellente. So, there we are, that's one in. That's pre. This is free laminations. Right, you've got a choice now. You either just pin it all in and let it dry, or you glue it as you go. Um, they're not very wet. Sometimes when it's really wet, it thins the glue down. Don't be too sparing with the glue. I'm thinking I might do the wingtips as well, because they've got to cut out a solid um, balsa. We'll see how I get on. Right, now what you can't do is just push pins against that, because it will mark it a bit in there, like that. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Yeah. There is an internal structure in this, which will, I can glue it to when the time comes. Hey, it's Pascal. Hi, Pascal. That went round quite nicely then, guys, in the end. So that's that done. The tail plane is an elevator. Is built out of 332nd balsa. Build, join, and cover elevators before binding to fuselage. Okay, I'll continue building this, guys, and I'll see you back shortly. Just popping in the last piece of the tailplane on this side. I've laid up the second half. Uh, but what I'm going to look at right now is the rudder because that has now set up overnight. Let's see what we got. There we go. One laminated thin outline. Let's just square that slightly. Well, I have got a piece of 132nd carbon rod. Let me go down from there to there. So that's good news. I'll pop that in my tin there. Okay, let's get some of these cross pieces in and uh, get it drying. Actually, it's glued in, isn't it? The carbon rod is glued in onto the rudder and it's free running in the little bearer on the end. Next piece is this one here. Off cut here. Now let's just trim another one. Yep. 
in there, get some glue on the bottom, in there, and in there. Okay, that completes the rather fancy little fin. I'm now going to go and edit some of that um, Lancaster around the pole video. See what sort of job I can make of it. See you later. So they've all dried. Probably glue to the plastic a little bit. Not much. So, all flying tail. I can hardly carry it, so heavy. <laughs> That's the former. Don't need that now. But still, look at that. Isn't that lovely? All flying rudder. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, I'm just going to run the structure gently over the rudder. Do the same with the elevators. Okay, so that's the rough shaping done. I'll do the same to the other one and then we'll have a look at the plan and see what's next. Hail Caesar. Oh, I was just about to say I've mounted the motor but it just dropped out. Um, it's a yeah, Emacs CF2805. Um, what I've done, I've put a little motor mount in there, uh, plywood face, and a bit of quarter inch bolster behind, give it a bit of uh, meat. So it's got some right thrust, it's got some down thrust, and that'll just go in there like that. And then I've got a big cowling to go on the front. I've just got to bend up the top wire and then I can sheet the top in. But that's the motor. Um, the other thing I've done this morning is just to put the joiner in on the tailplane. So I've got carbon rod and aluminium tubing. And this stitches to the back of the aircraft once it's been covered. Now look at this. I I'm making the cowl, uh, but I haven't got any 132nd uh, ply, so I'm making it out of 132nd balsa. And all I've done is to, I'm just going to CA it. I've just pushed the front former, which is the rear former of the cowl, and wrap this around it. Just pushed it in and nothing's fixed. I'm just going to CA it and it should, in theory, turn into a cowl before our very eyes. Put a little blob in there. And a C1 fits inside there. Drip some CA in at the top and there and there. So as I say, I'm just going to stiffen this bolt wood up with some CA on the inside. A couple of nice things to make on this kit and that's the gun on the top and the dummy rotary engine. Just offer it up while it's drying, shall we? It's going to stick on there. I'll probably use aliphatic to stick that on. That's got to be up at a sixteenth on the top here, just to allow for the top sheeting. And then I can put some cheeks, little solid wood cheeks, on the side. So this is a Sarek kit. I'll leave the link um, 
in the description straight to the um, sales page I've no uh, no links with Sarek just like their kit just roughing this up a little bit just to give it um, a bit of a key so grabs quite quickly this get it roughly right about there okay goes from there from that point there down it's the cheek I still whittle that into a cheeky shape Incidentally, I've decided on the wing, uh, I'm a, I am going to laminate the tip because this, the tissue I'm going to put on is going to be a little bit see-through and that's just going to look so out of character with the plane. So, And I like laminating. A little bit, looks about the right length. Um, let's say it was D, yeah. Okay, I cut that to length, but I found this piece of brass if you can even see it that is so fine I think I'm gonna make that into a little hoop on the top might be too thin we'll see but should do it right, let's just cut this to length about there nice to have a little bit of spring to it because it will hold itself in there we go so what I can do is glue that in and then mount then I can put the 16th sheet in over the top right. again I aim it that way before I glue it in I'll just have a little go at these cheeks I think because it's going to be in the way of it otherwise Getting down there, I'll just fettle this a little bit more and uh, come back to you in a minute. I've shaped down the uh, little cheeks, checked online, they just were square at the bottom, so that's that. But I've just curved up a bit of balsa just by making it wet to put in here because the front wire is fitted now. Um, but it's, it's a real devil to get in there, so I've just had a brilliant idea, cut it in half down the middle and if the join isn't anything other than perfect um, the machine gun's going to cover it anyway so uh, oops so um, I can do it what I would say is the easy way I have to bevel one side or the other either bevel the fuselage and bring it down or bevel the bolster I think I'll bevel the bolster the uh, top piece this piece it's not quite there let's do that side a little bit more Yeah, happy with that guys. Let's, uh, what I'll do, I'll put a little bit of super glue at the top here to hold it, possibly on the bottom as well. So, but for the minute, let's use aliphatic. There we go. Put that down. Could put a rubber band on, but I'll use a liquid rubber band. Okie dokie, so that's one part done. I'll do the other half now and then when that's set I can cut a nice curve in there. Okay, I've been busy. I've put on the second half of the top deck and given it a light sanding. I'm just cutting out the pilot's position, done that half, just drawn around the base of a jar. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me, so there we are. Little cockpit gives me a bit more room to fit the servos now. So that is, in actual fact, the fuselage construction finished. All I gotta do is a bit of sanding 
and I can put that to one side and get on with the wings. So I'm looking forward to just offer that up a minute. There. <laughs> nice. It's well in my hand. Let's just offer up. I've got enough hands. Probably haven't. Put that there. All flying tail plane. All flying rudder. she is smashing thanks for tuning in and um, the next video will be the wings and I've still got to bend up the undercarriage of course there we are thanks for watching hit the little um, like button down below thumbs up button and I'll see you in part three which will be the uh, wings and well final assembly I guess Louis really looking forward to cover, starting to cover it as well I've got the I'm going to cover it in tissue I thought it was white tissue and it is but when you open it out because it goes pretty transparent I'll tell you what let's just drape it over the fuselage a sneaky look I, I quite like the look of the transparent look because uh, I'll be able to see the structure with this stuff doesn't that look great Looks really great. It's going to be a lovely little aeroplane. So that will be part three. Thanks for watching part two. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Cheers.